Congress may have shut down the government this fall, but that did not stop the members of both houses from working hard on their other job, fundraising. Turns out not all that the money is going to get them reelected. Some of it's going to pay family members, fund pricey trips, even buy tickets to some big games. But that's not all. All of this is perfectly legal. Ted News investigator Nor Pransky has done some digging and shows us how some Florida lawmakers are profiting off of politics. Two different congressmen. Transparency is absolutely necessary. Two drastically different answers. Call next week, call my campaign. We've been calling for several weeks. Both men responding to a serious allegation that they're using legal loopholes to profit off campaign cash. It all started when the 10 News investigators took a look at how local members of Congress from both parties were spending their fundraising dollars. And we found some weren't just looking out for their constituents, they were also looking out for their own families. Melanie Sloan is with Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, or CREW. They've been investigating the very same problem. We found that many members of Congress use their positions to uh, financially benefit their family members. They hire their family members on the campaign payroll and on their leadership pack payroll. Like Congressman Vernon Buchanan, who paid his sister-in-law, Yvonne Buchanan, more than $232,000 over the years to act as bookkeeper for his campaign. The Longboat Key Republican also paid himself, through companies he owns, more than hundred grand in office rent. No surprise to Crew, which named him one of Congress' most corrupt six years running. Mr. Buchanan is one of the least ethical members of Congress <clears throat> and obviously does not want either the media or watchdog groups looking at him too closely. Buchanan refused our numerous interview requests, but issued this statement that read in part, the Buchanan campaign fully complies with federal campaign finance laws and publicly discloses all contributions and expenses. But that didn't answer our questions. We got up with the congressman after the Sarasota Veterans Day Parade. Congressman Noah Pransky with 10 News. Hey, good to see you. Do you have a moment to chat about some of the questions we've been trying to get through your office about campaign financing? I'm not going to talk about that on Veterans Day. Call my campaign. We have. We've tried to set something up. We'd be know, happy to do call, it. Call is there another time? Statement. Is there yeah. time we can talk to I you before you? I think you've got a statement on it. In stark contrast, however, Congressman Dennis Ross agreed to come into the 10 News studios and answer any questions we may have about campaign spending. The Lakeland Republican raised so much money in 2012, nearly a million bucks, nobody even dared to challenge him. But since then, Ross has paid his wife more than $17,000 to raise money for him. If you look at what we paid her compared to what I paid a fundraiser for two years of $101,000, I think my contributors ought to be pretty satisfied that I've gotten a greater service at a tremendously lot less cost uh, using her. But that's not all. By transferring money from his campaign funds to his political action committee, Ross can spend the money on things that may not be allowed with campaign campaign funds, such as a room at the Ritz-Carlton, expenses for a trip to Africa, and thousands more in airfare. Of course, all of this is perfectly legal. Campaign finance reform will always be an issue, but there will always be somebody else who takes advantage of it. Any change would take a new law from Congress, the very same people accused of using these laws to their advantage. Crew also identified other legal yet ethically questionable charges from congressional members after they left office. When Jenny Brown Wade announced her retirement, she used her campaign funds to buy an iPad and pay Verizon wireless bills. And after Mike Bilirakis left office, he bought $6,000 in Bucks and Rays tickets. We put these and many other questionable expenditures from lots of other Florida officials on our website, WTSP.com.